Welcome back to the Kirin Tour. This is Survival Chaos, and we're gonna be fighting Zorn, Dash, and Heisel. Because this is the 100th episode, it's gonna be a special episode. And yeah, that doesn't mean we are gonna be celebrating anything special, but every 100th episode kind of means the end of the season. And it's been a really interesting and fine season. I really enjoyed the time that we had. We have been seeing uh, several f uh, new races. But what's really good to know for you guys. Um, I'm not so certain when exactly this season will end. Because we're also hosting the tournament. After every season we will be uh, taking some time to ev uh, evaluate the season. And how things have been going for us and the community. And that might be take a little bit more time than usual since we still got the big ass tournament ongoing. So, how many episodes there actually will be in this season? I simply do not know. But you can expect the next episode after episode 100 to still count for this season so that people can find it a little bit easier in the playlist. <laughs> I wish we had some cake and booze. <laughs> but still way too early, I just woke up, so that will be a bad, bad, bad decision, Michael. <laughs> so, I will try to play with a bonus here that's not the most common one, <clears throat> just to get some training. Ford Elf Rogue Wagon. Let's stand, let's stand. <coughs> let's see how well we can do with those. I'm gonna be playing a little bit different than usual. I might not be pushing the grip build out much. Yeah, 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 it's <coughs> it's definitely I gotta say streaming is a lot of fun. We are really, really far away from becoming a professional streamer, of course. <coughs> We're not even on ten percent of it. <laughs> But if we can grow a streamer, we could also invest a little bit more time to the channel, host more tournaments, <coughs> maybe play a few different games as well. Although I definitely do enjoy my... <coughs> oh, he's playing with the camouflage, that's nasty. <coughs> but I definitely do enjoy the Survive Chaos content. By the way, um, please let me know if the stream is not working out well anymore. Oh, by the way, the Wogan should be able to fight off the Foydels really, really well. <coughs> Rogue will struggle a little bit more against them because they do not have as much AoE. Okay, this fight is not going anywhere, so I might be upgrading the bottom side first because otherwise we will be feeding the Worgen a little bit too much. <coughs> I'm kind of afraid that the Rogue will be winning it. We definitely need to kill one more unit. <coughs> there we go, there we go. Upgrade. Just at the right time. A little bit too close for comfort. If the Rogue did not upgrade me, <coughs> then we should be able to take possession here. If he did upgrade me, then he might be killing my mages. And then he might be turning this little old fight around. <coughs> I kinda expect him to go for the foils, not against me. <coughs> that's a bummer, that's a bummer indeed. Well... Right now, I'm kind of flicked to still go for the rebuild, man. <coughs> Just got love gold early on. Mm. 
The Goblin Laboratory is not gonna help me enough. Heroes free. I suppose you mean Heroes of Might and Magic. Yeah, that were some really good days. Yeah, we can take the damage here, that's fine. <coughs> Wish we would have been getting enough gold to upgrade this already. <laughs> Yikes, the road certainly did. Oh boy, oh boy, Foydels are the only one with the Tittleberg Smill Lane. <coughs> I was thinking about upgrading it, but then we would be losing against the Foydels. Which is not out pleasant, obviously, so... I'm gonna wait until he gets a big enough army to actually attack me through the mill lane. <coughs> we will have to be careful. He also has to be careful, since the rogue will be coming for, uh, for him. Yeah, we'll probably be using this on the front lines. We're not gonna kill them instantly. Especially not because of their camouflage. But because he is tier 2 uh, as the only player, we might have to upgrade this tier 2 ourselves before going for the early outpost upgrade. <coughs> He'll be attacking me at one second, I believe. <coughs> you know what, let's just stun them. They will deal a lot of them to my front lines. <laughs> so if we can at least shoot them down, we should be in better shape already. Yeah, it's next week will hit me hard. <coughs> Especially if it's gonna come between now and another second. Yeah, there they are. <coughs> aye, aye, aye. We're not trying to buy units because if we do, we will fall only further and further behind. <coughs> I still need to apologize for my throat, of course, because it's I'm still in really bad shape. Let's upgrade it quickly. Should it be attacking me through the middle lane, which I believe will not happen yet. <coughs> Then we're still gonna be fine. Even if we have to use it to spell. F three seconds and then he hits me. <coughs> it's, they are not hitting me with the Vanguard yet. sell this one. <coughs> Let's shoot him down. I don't think he's gonna get too many reinforcements and if he does we can once again use a <coughs> defense spell to stop it. Yeah, take some damage. I also could have gone for the camouflage but I think we should be relatively safe against the enemies for the late game. <coughs> Let's upgrade to everywhere. Yeah, that should result in a good amount of gold soon. So they're definitely pushing the outpost upgrades. I want to keep this ongoing. I never want to have this at the pass. Might be getting the 6 attack damage first together with the scrap salvage. Later on we might be getting the alchemy upgrades and lastly the range upgrades. <coughs> might be ignoring the fortification upgrades. <coughs> I'm not surprised about the Rogue pushing through. Yeah, I think we need to have a small pause here to use the Goblin Mine. <coughs> there we go. <coughs> now we can keep upgrading. Hey, those mages. <coughs> it's 
next wave might still hit me quite hard. That range should be good. Um, yeah, we're definitely gonna be taking quite some hits early on. Uh, yeah, he's gonna hit me once, I believe. <coughs> Alright, could have been worse, could have been worse. Let's get one god range, and then for the extra repairs, keep our blast life a little bit longer. <coughs> Does have too many upgrades, but neither do we, so he might still be winning there. Ay, 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 that's a good, that's a good. <coughs> so the rogue might be eating up the wall for the base soon. So yeah, I kind of wish we went for the camp flush now because we might be getting a six sandwich. Yeah, this is not gonna be easy. Oh, well, I could always try Hero 3 out. <coughs> Will be good chains. Still in control there. Not entirely surprising, but let's see what he's gonna do with that gold because he will be getting less gold from killing the. Um. Void of course, since he destroyed the barracks. <coughs> Let's hope that can turn things around, because we have to keep upgrading. Yeah, we're gonna get that little free scrap salvage. Or at least they are in tower range now. Let's get a uh, juicy 12 uh, numbers. There we go. Perfect. <coughs> he went tier 3. Not surprising, he went tier 2. So we probably won't go tier 3 ourselves. Alright, gonna wait a second for the upgrade. Get the tier 3 barracks here. Try to be in control over middle lane. Get some extra uh, gold from there. Um, then hopefully we can keep upgrading a little bit better. Not just at the outpost, but at the towers as well. Yeah, I do wonder what the Worgen is doing. He's upgrading right now. Didn't fall too far behind though. They might be tier 3 against each other at the top side uh, here. The northern uh, eastern place. Finally, gonna be work towards the counter attack there. I'm a bit surprised that the photos are performing so poorly on Silent. Well, not surprised about that. I kind of expect that, but I'm surprised that the sills went so hard for the middle lane then. That was <coughs> Flinty Boy. Maybe at the middle lane. So if Flinty will go there, I will not send the arrow. Although, Gesso cannot be poisoned by him, right? That could be a decent counter. Let's get the fourth uh, upgrade and then we might be uh, needing a tier 1 spell against the Warren. <laughs> or we can buy some units. But I'm fine with the tier 2 battle between me and the Warren here right now. <laughs> I 
this wave might even spawn at good time. For fortification upgrades, yeah, Son is at least getting a good income for that. At least for him, of course. Alright, we should go there. So we want to <coughs> hurt the rogue mostly by stuffing him out of some gold. If we go to 4 here, we will still be feeding him quite hard. So I think I'll be staying focused a little bit more on the <coughs> top lane or the middle lane. Maybe tier 4 to hope that we can eliminate Flinty. Uh, let's um, guess what. I don't think it can be poisoned. I think the poison only works against organic. <coughs> then we will be snowballing mid lane rather quickly. <coughs> ah, behold us. It's tier 4. But still, we should be controlling mid lane rather quickly. <coughs> Once Flint falls. I'd rather be in control here, then let the rogue get it. <coughs> he also went tier 3 by the way. He's fighting the tier 4 barracks from the Fordals. <coughs> We're fighting the tier 2 barracks from the Wogan. So yeah, there's no reason for us to lose this against Flinty. Yeah, let's get some fortification upgrades. I said I might be ignoring it, but I just want to get superior gold compared to the rogue. <coughs> yeah, Castle might not be in the best shape soon, but Flint will be going down. <coughs> so that's really the good news. Really hurting Swan's economy me here. Want demolition experts, spare parts. <coughs> Might be going tier 4 against the Worgen soon. We got more fortification upgrades than we. Oh, we're gonna get a, a good amount of gold from the lane. It's gonna get A2 soon, yikes. Yeah, we're about to snowball the game. We're about to snowball. Research complete. <coughs> the full mid lane is not even necessary as long as Gesto is live. <coughs> but a bit surprised we're not seeing Survivor yet, so it might be wise to save up for 2000 gold. You want tier 3? But we do not wish to be feeding him, right? So, might just be staying tier 2 against him, send the hero, slowly counter attack. He already needs to find a way to kill more enemies. He's not gonna get too much pressure, but if he will fall behind Farifan to the gold, then he's gonna be doomed anyway. <coughs> so, I'm gonna keep my gold for the hero over there. Probably gonna go tier 3 here. Look at all those shinies. Yeah, I'm considering to actually send <coughs> Rasil here indeed. Although we got a lot of damage. Do we lose? Irvia, <coughs> probably not mid lane. He would summon survival there, preferably, so. I think we can upgrade topside. Still get 1000 gold before the rogue will attack me. <laughs> but I think the real 
game changer for this game. So far, it's that we stand Gaslo middle lane. So we can stay in control here at least. A build is in good shape. Should he rush the ultimate weapon? And he might be using it a few times for me. Now we can defend decently well if we have six fortification upgrades and full health on the barracks. <coughs> then he would need three ultimate weapons to destroy it. That's really not out of the question whether he's gonna do it. Wouldn't be surprising. <coughs> oh yeah, yeah, he went to tier three as well. So yeah, we might need to go to tier four. Get Gesso some extra help. I think we will need to summon it soon. <laughs> Let's stun them. <coughs> Helping out Rasil slightly. Yeah, we need to keep these upgrades on going. As simple as that. He's gonna get the Night Sitting Brazil soon and the Rogue Wizards as well. <laughs> they will basically pay for themselves. That are the first units that we bought this game. <laughs> Get still in okay shape here, but we are losing control of the middle lane. We better not be tanking the photos there. <coughs> uh, that might be happening. <coughs> Please attack the rogue. <laughs> ah, we're not pushing it because he also went tier 3. Smart from him. But we really need these reinforcements quickly. <coughs> At least. It Work is partially attacking me and the rogue, so that's good news. I guess what might be doomed. He's gonna get reinforcement soon. <coughs> nice cleaving attack, by the way. Alright, we should be good. Let's keep an upgrading. <coughs> Let's get him more rock parts. <coughs> yes, I guess what? Please go back. I don't want to miss you already. <coughs> ah, seems like he lost the wave to defend against the rogue at the bottom side. That's very lucky. <coughs> oh no. Maybe we just killed them a little bit too quickly. I'm going to for at the top side, by the way. <coughs> well, it's not gonna have a good time fighting my tier 4 barracks. Especially if we keep upgrading the range damage and also the lead rain. Our real strength lies in the lead rain and more rocket parts. <coughs> and there's no reason to go easy on these enemies. Especially not since. The rogue is free from pressure on the right side. <coughs> yeah, the fighters will need to be careful about middle lane as well. Gaslow has been so good for us here. Stopping the <coughs> rogue snowball at the middle lane and allowing us to snowball ourselves. <coughs> yeah, the counter attack is imminent at the top side. <coughs> I guess I was lost in the middle lane. Hopefully, he will be stuck here or instead of the base. Our middle lane should still be ours for a little while. 
the kaboom biatch is great, obviously. <clears throat> ah yeah, he's going down completely. Poor guy. <clears throat> T3, T4 here. Good snow, good snow. He's still left 24, so no elevated just yet. Can we contact him real slowly with... It's a free with Tito Barracks and Hero. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's a reason to wait now anymore. <clears throat> Even if we don't go tier 4 against him, then he's still gonna be getting a good amount of gold from fighting the Wargan at the uh, right side. Because <clears throat> he's gonna go down soon enough. I really want those heroes, I guess. At least done for anyway. <laughs> Let's go to four. Upgrade complete. Should be slight leading. A hero tier three, yeah, that's gonna suck for us financially. We're smacking those walls around, so that's good. Keep upgrading. I want the grenades also empowering the AoE from the EMP grenade. Eldaria, Earthia, Survival, wow. I'm a bit afraid if we do send <coughs> Richter or Celia, that we're gonna be unfortunate to deal with the flint. But let's see if we can at least get him to level 10 or so. Well, it might be snowballing mid lane, we might be killing a few elves here. That's basically a late game investment that we make now so that we will have strong heroes to deal with a possible special unit. Maybe two. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna send Gessel there, because he cannot defend him that easily with Flint Boy. Eintel will not live forever. <clears throat> they might have gone for Flint. He went tier 4. <clears throat> Should be enough to save Darius. I also think you need that tier 4 barracks really. Let's send <coughs> Guess here again. Yeah, he's gonna be sniping Ricketts. <coughs> yes, he will be attacking me here soon. I think we should have enough gold still. <coughs> Just really don't want the rogue in control. <coughs> and I think we can <coughs> do this job of sending some units here. Rickett might still fall at the poison, yeah, he certainly will. But he did not level up um, <coughs> Flip because we did snipe him quickly enough. <coughs> if we send Rickett here now, then he's still gonna defend with Flint. <coughs> but he will be at least level 12 so, so that's fine by itself. Alaria should be out since he's not gonna get too many reinforcements. Otherwise, Flint would also have eaten Alaria. I think we once again did a really great job at sending Gesto. <laughs> Morgan, some struggling. Might be a little bit ahead on research. Eh, not that much. <coughs> so let's change that. Some extra stun, <coughs> always good. Tobias, yeah, he will be able to tank a little bit less good than Darius could, but 
He's gonna level up greatly. Kill most of my units there. <laughs> this is a very aggressive move. But I think we should be able to snipe Tobias. Hopefully keep our rug back his life. <clears throat> and apply some extra damage to the rug buggies. To the barracks. <clears throat> the longer we wait, the more likely it is that we will be engaged into a nasty sandwich. <clears throat> yeah, let's save up for the outpost, get the grenade. Uh, sadly, my rug bug is dead fall, but we should be able to get two or three here again before Tobias falls. Maybe ignore the Globus in order to get the 12 attack damage soon, the range. Because um, I kind of expect Flint here now. Snipe down Ricketts. Tiffery on the fourth. He probably didn't have enough gold for the elevator yet. We still will be taking some damage, but he can take it. He can take it. I don't even mind if he would fall just after killing Tobias, so that he cannot redirect him out well. <coughs> we're burning the road to the ground. <coughs> Let's get the grenades, will be a mess power up. Did send six heroes, slain four. I kind of learned this aggression in the tournament. <laughs> but if we had the opportunity to do this, I don't think there's any reason not to. Ah, he's gonna lose one more turret already. <clears throat> That's a major loss for him. The fort ain't looking pretty as well. Again. <laughs> An allied hero has been killed. Flame stuff. More damage against enemy buildings. Gut range. <clears throat> We're still in guns survive here. Oh no! <coughs> Did he intentionally send caramel lane? If so, it's not gonna be a problem to us. Well, can he send <coughs> golden already? I'm not so sure. We'll be losing the mid back soon. Yeah, Carol will be stuck in the middle lane for a little bit longer. I mean, we could potentially hurt the Worgen by sending the attack ball there. Especially if he's still tit on the main building. I think that would be the right thing to do. <coughs> Small difference. If sent now, he will be getting somewhat hurt. <coughs> we still need to hear at the bottom side. Guess that will be more than fine. But since we're losing every lane, we're not gonna get too much gold income. <coughs> but I'm still gonna play this aggressive. Yeah, it's definitely gonna take beating. <coughs> but it also means that <coughs> sending him now, despite the fact that it's gonna take more damage, the Wargan will have less time to respond to them, and he cannot even send normal heroes at the left side. <coughs> so he'll be forced into sending Goldrin. <coughs> Unless if he's gonna fall there, that would be bad.
There's more damage here than we should have been taking. Flimple Staff Love 3. <coughs> yeah, you can never deal enough burning damage to the enemy buildings. Half life, but the real question is does he have enough gold for Goldrin? <coughs> if not, then he will need to send his heroes from the mill barracks. And then he's gonna take damage from the rug buggies. <coughs> we can still upgrade into the offense item weapon. Bring Aura. Good for my rage units. It's all looking really, really good. <clears throat> it's not gonna have East time to find Gesso, so we might be seeing the elevator. Gesso really carried us this game. <clears throat> He's left to the mana. <clears throat> he will need to send Harris from here. Oh, Darius was ready already. <clears throat> but the fence spell. Yeah, Darius might be enough to tank this. We are prepared for possible elevator now. I from the mill lane. That's a risk because he's definitely gonna be taking damage to the barracks now. Guess it's not gonna fall all too quickly either. <coughs> I would have um, suggested him to send him here, tank the damage. Because he's not really in a position where he can tank the damage all too well anymore. <coughs> and Gesso just doesn't fall all too easily. <coughs> if he had him here, he probably would have survived. And if he did send the attack bot against him, the attack bot was easily directed because they will deal special units. <coughs> and he would have been good there. Attack <coughs> bot still alive. He's gonna get experience from killing Darius at least. <coughs> yeah, once the attack ball falls, we will send him instantly against the elevator. Sure, he will be taking damage, but we're not gonna be taking any damage at our own barracks. <coughs> A double ultimate weapon will be the worst thing that we can face. <coughs> so, getting this on full health. And we could easily do that with the Lumber Lair, is our top priority. <laughs> right, we gotta wait for the next wave. <laughs> He's not gonna get as many reinforcements as the attack bot will. Guess the top would be perfect. He was kind of close already. Boy, boy. Let's send Gesso. Will he have an easy time? Nope. Should he be able to win this? Yes. Should be able to cut him down. <coughs> we are gonna be attacking the walk through the middle lane. So we could potentially send Ricket here, get the hero kill. Freshly woven. Right, we might be killing him before Rekord arrives. So 
so be it, man. We have level 6 fortifications so that we are prepared for this other map. But with this current fort, uh, <coughs> fort health, he will probably just use the mana shield. Good mana drain him. He sent the elevator from here, so he will need to redirect from there. Which is not going to be easy, but with all of our rocket buggies, he should be able to do it. That rain. Flame stuff level 4. <coughs> Can't burn them enough. <coughs> Boom rounds. Kaboom Biatch incoming. I would say we are probably leading a little bit on gold. That's why our research is looking quite good as well. Gets a little level 27, table level 14. Right, men sealed indeed. <coughs> Might be using an offense item weapon here. Destroy the middle barracks at least. Because <coughs> otherwise, we will have to keep dealing with the elevator over and over and over again. <coughs> and we will again join that fight with. Goldren. <coughs> now we're gonna be in trouble. But we're not seeing this barracks at all. <laughs> He's gonna lose that tower at least. Trip might also be in a world of pain as well. <clears throat> Another tattoo spell. Right, if he can use the ultimate weapon soon, he cannot even use spell shield to defend the crypt. <laughs> He'll be in trouble at the middle lane as well. Rogue not sending too many reinforcements since we're still uh, fighting Rogue over there. <coughs> he cannot use it. The spell shield is 125. So it's gonna be uh, done for. <coughs> also means the gold room will not be a big threat to us anymore. He can use the next one here, I hope. Might have been forcing him to the men shield soon. There's again together should be enough. <coughs> There's Flint Boy. Whew, he lost the mill barracks. <coughs> so those two heroes will still survive. <coughs> Three heroes actually. I was thinking about sending a hero here, but <coughs> and the attack with that since it's three heroes, he will eat up my support hero. He will eat up Ricket, of course. So I think we just should take save and <coughs> send the attack bot at the top. <coughs> Destroy the wagon, so it's gonna be one against one between me and the rogue. Hey the cheer. Yeah, it's going really really well there. Yeah. <coughs> I cannot say anything else than that. <coughs> Kinda of destroying the enemies. Well we're not getting as many reinforcements as you would like. <coughs> Yeah, he's gonna fall there. <coughs> Since we do not have hero, the redirection ain't gonna be easy for him. <coughs> well, Golden deal a lot of damage to the attack bot, yes. <coughs> the attack bot should be able to win it. Mostly because he's a much higher level and <coughs> he's gonna get way more reinforcements than Golden will. <coughs> Give him those hero kills. Yeah, 
Yeah, the difference is not that uh, you just may look like. <laughs> God love the goblins. <coughs> yeah, Goldrun indeed going down. <coughs> Gesso for some reason did ignore the <coughs> Wogan heroes. I'm not even certain how that is even possible since he was in that hero duel. <coughs> These still will be capable of getting some experience there. Unless these heroes are not gonna be fighting us. <coughs> This should remain visible. <laughs> Go down really quickly. I was playing with Antero. <laughs> Poor guy. We'll need another gold rain. Right, we got all the research uh, soon. Only still need the bling aura. This will turn this base into some wonderful gold. <coughs> this explosion will hurt. <coughs> By attack bot, we still will not survive this either. Attack bot is uh, the elevator's going middle lane. Since we destroyed the rogue, he might just be attacking me here. <coughs> That's just our luck. Gasan and Gertos will not push through Goldrin, I believe. Uh, maybe they will. We cannot send the hero here directly. Come on, we got six fortifications. Should be easy to win here. <coughs> Barracks might just be going down right now. Level 4 flame ball stuff. And otherwise, this push it in the lane will probably do it. There we go. <coughs> there we go. Unbreakable. <laughs> slightly leading, man, slightly. That was still the fact that we <coughs> kind of ruined his chance on getting gold at the middle lane because we sent Guess of the Counter Flint. <coughs> kind of wanted to starve him from the gold income. 
And we definitely did that. And it paid off so extremely well. I don't think he can even send the elevator. He cancelled the Meta Shield. <coughs> so that's GG. <coughs> the Sound and Lord Gyarados might not even tag me. Because <coughs> the Rogue might be dead already. Yeah, the rogue would have been fine against many other raids with Flint at middle lane. <coughs> oh no, he will attack me after all. <coughs> but yeah, since he's mechanical, he couldn't be hurt by the poison. So that was really an easy win for us. <coughs> and that was where we stopped the snowball from the goblins to get our own snowball. So, that's it for the first game. I want to thank you all for watching and I'm glad to see you all next time. See ya. Bye bye.